he's just known to have like a good punch. That's it. How is a ref not in? Start Yo, he he can't he can't defend himself, dude. I guess you just know that he's the hardest hitter from like the opponents that talk about it. Oh my goodness hey what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel everybody now we might be having some new viewers here today so welcome i used to be a former taekwondo olympian for team canada and i spent most of my childhood training so this channel will be more about the content on me learning about different sports and the history behind it all so i hope you guys join me on that journey but with that all out of the way let's just jump into the video this has definitely been a highly recommended video so let's just jump in and watch Nobody can hit like Ernie Schaefer. He had a crunch punch, and it was real like crunch a welterweight. He yeah. come back quick. Oh. George Foreman didn't want to fight him. Greatest punch I have ever seen. His he hits you in the face and the mouth. Game over. Ernie Shavers was, Ernie Shavers. according to everybody he ever hit, the hardest hitter in human history. Oh, that's true, the right? The strongest man, just in terms of Ernie Shaver. He might not have had the speed and snap of Mike Tyson. Yeah, the snap and speed of Mike Tyson is or delicious. the brutal strength of George Foreman. But if you took a punch from Ernie and lived to tell the tale, your all-time greatest punchers list got its number one spot replaced. <laughs> what? what makes him the strongest puncher? Felt like somebody was hitting on each one of my toes with a hammer. <laughs> That's real bad. There were no exceptions oh. or second guesses. Is it the speed or Ernie's the... Ernie's power is something every fighter wishes they had. Okay. You what, kick my what made it? Just like that, but on your chin. Oh my God. <laughs> he didn't take up fighting until his 20s. It okay. stunted his growth on a technical level. Ernie really? would never be the most refined classical boxer and he didn't need to be. He had the the power. only game plan he ever needed was to go knock that man unconscious. Yeah, but I wonder what made, uh, he's gonna probably tell us what made him so strong, right? The first victim of the hardest hitter in human history okay, so this is his first comes fight. as Ernie was working his way up the rankings. <laughs> Former champ Jimmy Ellis was a defensive specialist hey, who was a sparring partner for Muhammad Ali. He stepped into the spotlight when Ali was stripped of the title. In 1973, oh, wow. Ellis was on the comeback trail, having knocked out his eight previous opponents. Okay, let's see this punch. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. I'm anticipating something big. Okay. He came here looking to knock out Ernie, too. I guess, did they know that Ernie was a strong puncher at this time? Is this the first time that someone's fought him and felt the brutal power of his punch? Man, he's just like, look at but this. It wasn't long before Shavers came out of the corner, grabbed Jimmy by his head, and sent it out of orbit at the speed of a space shuttle. No way, you could do that? You could hold his head, uppercut him? Ernie Shavers Bro uppercut. Dropped was an elevator to God. <laughs> oh, that's such a good saying. Ernie was still a novice compared to the rest of the top 10. Interesting. While nobody could quite match his power, Ooh. his skills left something to be desired. So the best game plan was to get Ernie out of there before he could get you. <laughs> the skills Ernie slowly learned made him all the more dangerous. Wow, interesting. So he had the power, the but not the skills? The world slowly learned that the hardest power puncher of all time also had the heart of a lion. My, who's Ron Lyle? Lyle. Ron Lyle, Lyle loved a slugfest just as much as Ernie. Oh, that uppercut, dude. What's his signature? What's, what's his, what is he known for? Is it that uppercut? Is it a hook? Straight to the, the punch combo? Did a thousand push-ups a day in his cell, <laughs> waiting out the sentence for a gang-related murder he didn't commit. Ron was quite accustomed to the up-close and personal havoc Ernie unleashed. While Ernie's massive power was without oh! question, Bingo! 
I don't know why, but George Foreman's punches look heavier and more brutal. But obviously, his are felt more. I'm just very curious what it's makes it that makes him the strongest at the top level. He can still take a punch too. Ooh, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. And he's just getting blasted in that corner, bro. While Ron Lyle was hardly the picture of classical technique, yeah. there will always be room in the heavyweight division for reckless violence. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is he just taking those punches? He's just bowing down and just kind of... He's pulling a rotang. And Ernie and Ron set a pace you knew would never like, last the distance. It's like Frazier versus Muhammad Ali. They're just pounding each other because they look tired and they're just going at it. I'm surprised like Ernie hasn't really knocked him out. Holy! Dude, ref! Stop, stop, stop. Done. While Ernie came up short, Done. the boxing world came away wow. impressed by both men. Ernie Holy would get in the habit dude. of getting into wars. But for a short heavyweight who started in his 20s, war was the only option. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he just fell like that. Okay, Ernie versus Roy Williams. Against Roy Williams, Shavers fought the early rounds and had the punch selection of a baseball pitcher. What, what does that even mean? I don't watch baseball, so I don't even know what that Every means either. Every third strike was a fastball. Okay. And inside. He goes one, two, high. One, two, bang. Jesus. Roy stood right in there and waited out the explosion. It was a gamble. A lot of guys woke up in hospitals trying to outlast Ernie's cardio. What? He hospitalized people? He's boxing, man. These fighting sports are like nothing compared to Taekwondo. Taekwondo is very low aggression. I've never woken up in a hospital. Boxing in Muay Thai, man, it's like brutal, brutal, brutal. Williams managed it. He turned the tide and went in on Ernie late. What's Ernie's record? So is he just known for the strongest punch? But does his record show it? Is it just a couple knockouts that were really, really hard, but he didn't really have like a winning record? Because so far a I'm watching him just getting knocked out. This fight a knockout loss for Shavers. Yeah, that's rough. Dang. So he's just known to have like a good punch. That's it. How is the ref not in? Start Yo, he, he can't he can't defend himself, dude. When does the ref start counting? Is it when but his hands are gone? Maybe late, when his whole body's limping on the deep. on the ringside? Jeez. I mean, he did start late. He was like what, 20 years old? Got to give the guy a break, right? Oh, that uppercut, it missed. No way he comes and back. Put Williams away with the five point palm exploding brain technique. He came back. He came back. You're telling me Roy he came back from that? And falls face first like Ric Flair selling. Yo, Ric Flair is a legend. Holy! Ernie soon found himself so he won in the number match. one contender fight with Larry Holmes. Larry earned his fame oh, wow. as a sparring partner for Ali Probably and yes. Joe Frazier before Everyone's going on a long unbeaten streak partner. to begin his career. Larry was regarded as a slick boxer, but he'd never seen real trouble in the ring. Ernie Shavers was nothing if not real trouble. Wow, he looks like a grown man. Hey, Ernie, let's see what you got. Larry's elegant jab and gliding footwork were his calling cards. I mean, Ernie Shavers does look look like a tank. 
but it was against the He's hardest just... puncher in history that Larry would ultimately prove his grit. Yikes. Oh, he makes him wobble. I guess you tell that... Oh, yeah. Dang. I guess you just know that he's the hardest hitter from, like, the opponents that talk about it? And take a how, clear how does someone determine that? The number one contenders match. It's crazy that you can hold someone. You just hold their head as you pound them. Cover their eyes. Larry went on to fight Ken Norton in a classic 15-rounder. Ken Norton. Oh, that sounds familiar for some reason. Oh. Larry Holmes is going at him. I don't know why. Larry Holmes doesn't seem like a heavyweight, though. His build, he's not, he doesn't have, like, big muscles or that jack compared to his opponents. Look at that. He lost to George Foreman, right? The tin can, the tin can. I don't know. I still think George Foreman is a pretty ground. massive hitter. Like when George Foreman hits people, Larry took it the shakes their body to win his title. Very curious. I still, I still don't see that Ernie Shavers kind of like power hit. That left Norton and Shavers in precarious positions career-wise. Each man was well into their thirties and each man realized their time at the top were running short. I've been training very hard for this fight. I've been away from my family for like nine weeks. That's, a, that's your whole fight plan, to try and get him out early. Oh, right now, right? Yeah, the bell rings. Wow. Uh, you won't have to look for me. While Ken Norton was held on his slick and skillful opponents, Kenny's chin had been cracked before. And Foreman is out! What do you mean, cracked? And if he Ernie actually could got his do chin cracked, well, he could definitely crack. Okay, so is this where we get to see it? But it's, 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 he had his chin cracked before. It wouldn't take long for Ernie to put another nail in the coffin on Ken Norton's career. Nail on that coffin, baby. Ooh. Ooh, those uppercuts, man. Bobbleheads, bobbleheads, bobbleheads. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that was a hit. That was a hit and a half. Oh my God, is that South Park? Ernie Shavers, and it went exactly as you called it, my friend. Well, Howard, I've been trained for now. We have a good shave. I know Ken Norton. I still think they. I'll find Kenny Norton and Joe Pinero. I couldn't lose. You're going to get your shot at Holmes in September. What makes you think it will be different? He's a different fighter from well, Norton's I'll, steady I'll, lateral movement. Well, I'll be in shape, and I'll cut him off, and I'll make him fight. I put a lot of pressure, and I will be in shape. Believe me, I will catch him. <laughs> his destruction of Norton wow. earned Ernie his rematch with Larry Holmes. But does he fight this George Foreman? For the title. Larry Holmes doesn't The world lose, knew though. there was no way Ernie was going to win on the cards. But he just had to knock him out, right? There's no way. Oh my god, that ju that just Larry missed his was face. Smoother than boiling oil. Yeah, that's oof. that Muhammad Ali style, you know? That's why he's his training partner. He's picking up some moves. Oh, that's crazy dangerous to have your hands down. If he's the heaviest hitter. Heaviest puncher having your hands down and dodging with your face. Woo! Ernie knew he only had one yeah, shot to yeah. become a champion. And in the seventh round, you gotta do that Mike Tyson landed. lunge. Oh! According to Larry, this punch left a calcium deposit on his skull that never went away. According to Larry, the punch knocked him out and he hit his head on the floor hard enough to wake him up. According to Larry, when Shavers landed, all he saw was lights. In this moment, a walking dead Larry Holmes reanimates. Oh my goodness. And even his corpse was up for a fight. 
Dude, so Larry wins after that? Jack Dempsey said, a champion is a man who stands up when he can't. Larry Holmes certainly qualified. Dude, that's ridiculous. This guy can't catch a break. Ernie would never win a title. Unreal. An eye surgery threatened to cut short his career, but even still, Ernie tanked his way through it and fought on. The last great night of Ernie Shavers came as a wily old veteran in with a young knockout artist. Okay. Who? Jeff Sims. That's too bad. He never really won the title. Jeff Sims was determined to get Ernie out of there as fast as possible. So he had the power Ernie punch, he just didn't have the other boxing right skills. In the first that dropped him. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, he gets dropped too, yeah. But after all these years and all these fights, the hardest puncher of all time was now also an experienced professional. Ooh. No, don't exchange with Ernie, baby. Don't don't exchange. You saw what happened to Larry Holmes. Ooh, he pulled that punch back. It doesn't seem like his skill in he boxing. Maybe it's because he started late. And in the fourth, caught the young man ducking onto his uppercut. Ooh. From that moment on, Sims looked like he was fighting on two sprained ankles. <laughs> no, no, don't do that to him. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Two sprained ankles, bro. See, so yeah, like George Foreman also, like, he was a After big boy. After two minutes on ice skates, the ref steps in to save him. On ice skates. See, like when George Foreman started, I, it felt like he also didn't really have that much knowledge on boxing. He just it was big and he can just like, he gets you one Every hit and he's down. Every boxer spends endless hours seeking a portion of the power Ernie seemed to summon from nowhere. Okay, so he just... No amount of time spent chopping trees or pumping iron will allow you to hit the way Ernie Shavers did. And that brings the final and ultimately unfair conclusion. Punchers are born. Yeah. Pure power is a gift from God or I genetics. So. Yeah. And Ernie Shavers was born a more natural slugger than any human in history. With his recent passing at age 78, ah. the king of power punching, rest in peace, with my dude. 69 KOs on his record, can now finally rest in it. That's Ernie Shavers. A lot of people have been saying that he's the hardest puncher, but I still don't understand what makes him the hardest puncher. It's said that it's obviously genetics and God's gift, which makes sense. But how does someone measure that? Is it from all the post interview fights from his opponents? Does he hold a record or something? What tells people that his punches were the hardest? Because to me, if someone were to say, oh, that person is the hardest puncher, I believe he has to have some kind of presence behind it. For instance, when George fights, he had an undefeated record. I think he said it himself. If you have me to the end of the match, I most likely didn't win. So I have to make sure I end it before the match does. But for Ernie Shavers, it seems like he does hit hard. I'm not sure about his technique. It doesn't seem anything great compared to the other fighters that I saw. Maybe he's not explosive enough. Maybe his defense is in there. He, I see him pulling punches instead of following through, or it seems like he's just a brawler. He does have like a strong punch. You can see that the hits, man, the, when he dropped, Larry Holmes like that, I was in complete shock. That was a hard hit. You can see that. But it's unfortunate that he didn't really do anything with it. I feel like maybe it just comes out of nowhere. Maybe he didn't train enough to unleash it whenever he wants to. You could have the genetics and the power and like, you know, the God-given talent, but you have to somehow activate it at whim. You have to know you have it, train it, and then just kind of let it come out whenever you want. But it seems like how it was documented is, oh, he kind of pulled it out out of nowhere. He has that strength, but he doesn't show it at any moment it just comes out i might be wrong again i'm not a professional boxer i am a noob so i'll be hearing you guys in the comment section and having that the discussion he does have some crazy delivering blows when he punches but i still see a lot more fighters demonstrate their punch where if they get hit once they're down and out and having larry holmes get up after that even though i don't know how he did and also winning that match after i don't know if it's enough to be the strongest punch but i 
I'll let you guys fill me in. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers for now. <laughs>